renowned for its pristine beaches, turquoise seas, and vibrant coral reefs, the Turks and Caicos Islands consist of 40 islands and caves with eight main islands. Providencialis, commonly referred to as Provo, is the most developed and popular island, home to the famous Grace Bay Beach, consistently ranked among the world's best beaches. With its powdery white sands and crystal clear waters, Grace Bay offers a stunning backdrop for water sports, snorkeling, and relaxation. The Turks and Caicos Islands are renowned for their vibrant underwater life, with opportunities to encounter marine species like colorful coral formations, tropical fish, and even majestic humpback whales during the winter months. In terms of resorts, adults-only all-inclusives aren't plentiful here like they are in the popular vacation locations of Mexico and Jamaica. To add to that, as we all know, all resorts and personal tastes aren't created equally. So what may be your top resort could easily be someone else's least favorite. So knowing this, we decided to create a list of three of the highest rated all-inclusive resorts in Turks and Caicos based on thousands of guest reviews from the three most popular hotel booking sites, Booking.com, Hayek.com, TripAdvisor.com, and also YouTube. And as a bit of a reference point, we've also chosen to include room rates, although we must remind you that actual room rates can vary greatly depending on the time of year of your stay and other factors. As a side note, and for all of you out there that may be wondering the best time to visit Turks and Caicos if you're looking to get the lowest airfare and room rates, is during the low season, which lasts from June to November. Now, let's get started. Starting off our list at number three is the Blue Haven Resort. Blue Haven Resort is on the Providencialis' Leeward Coast and is around a 22-minute drive from the Providencialis International Airport. Taxis are readily available at the airport, and the drive is short enough to make that a viable option, although we always recommend private transport because taxi service can be unreliable. Be advised that the Blue Haven Resort isn't an adults-only resort. However, it has enough amenities and a gorgeous beach to enjoy, so it's worthy of consideration. The resort also has many arranged activities for children, so you may not encounter them often during your stay. One perk Blue Haven has is it has a free shuttle to its sister properties, which are the Beach House and the Alexandra Resort. Both are also top-rated properties, and the shuttle allows you to venture out beyond the resort. Blue Haven Resort also has a totally different vibe than it did under its previous owners, who sold the resort in 2013. While the resort once had a wild party image, Blue Haven now opts for a peaceful, secluded, and relaxed vibe. The lobby accentuates that in both its structure and design. It includes an entryway that is a two-story portico with an open-air lobby. It sports light-colored walls and floors with spots of blue. It's a different feel from the bright colors on the exterior of the buildings, which is a holdover from the previous owners. Service is excellent from the moment you walk in with staff attending to your every need. Those entering are greeted with a rum punch as they enjoy spectacular views. The check-in experience is efficient and friendly, but that could also be because you're drinking the rum punch while going through the process. Blue Haven is an intimate resort with only 35 suites and 16 premier guest rooms. They come in various sizes from a one-room studio to a one, two, or three-bedroom suite. The studios are as spacious as most standard hotel rooms. That makes this resort a good place for couples, larger family groups, or those traveling with friends. Rooms are a mix of modern design with a touch of nautical. The decor is stylish and comfortable with cherry wood furniture up against white walls. Navy and white are the colors, with accents of black and white in frames. The beds are lush, with white duvets and lots of pillows. Studios, also called premier rooms, don't come with balconies or some of the other features of the suites, but they do have king-size beds. Suites have features like full kitchens, wraparound balconies, and front-loading washer and dryer units. The bathrooms are the same in almost all of the units. They all have large granite vanities featuring vessel sinks and large walk-in showers. Some have walk-in closets and jetted tubs, so you will need to ask for those specific rooms before you book. Food is a key feature at Blue Haven. 
There aren't any grocery stores nearby, which would make the kitchens useless, except for the fact that the resort has a small market across from the hotel's primary parking lot that stays well-stocked. It sells almost anything a guest could want or need from snacks and sandwiches to sunscreen. The coffee counter that has fresh pastries that you can enjoy on a terrace is part of the mini market. Items at the mini market are additional beyond the inclusive package, but are priced reasonably. Two restaurants are located on the property. Fire and Ice, located near the lobby and across from the pool, is an open-air restaurant that serves breakfast and dinner. Its seating allows you to enjoy panoramic ocean views. Breakfast is a buffet, but dinner is a la carte and focuses on Mediterranean-style seafood. Salt Bar and Grill is more casual, serving lunch and dinner with both indoor and outdoor seating. Its menu includes American fare, like baby back ribs, burgers, pizza and nachos, but also has some island food like jerk chicken and cracked conch. Blue Haven has two other bars and grills. Jammin' by the Sea found beachside, boasts of casual island and grilled food. There's also a swim-up pool bar for you to enjoy a drink while you relax in the fabulous infinity-edged pool. Other amenities on the site include a private 12-mile beach, although it is a man-made beach that was built out of a small water channel rather than the ocean. However, it's a good place to sit in the sand, swim, and enjoy the water. You can also kayak and paddleboard on it. There are lounge chairs, hammocks, and bean bag rafts available. This resort has a few advantages in that you can take a boat to other islands. Those do come at an additional cost, though. A serious perk is having all the features and amenities of the sister properties included in Blue Haven packages. The free shuttle is there so you never lack adventure. Guests can also enjoy free bikes to wander around during their stay. Those who always need to be connected can take comfort in knowing there is free Wi-Fi. There's a small fitness center and the resort has Elevate Spa. The spa offers massages in the spa, in your room, or even on the beach. It has packages that include sugar scrubs, massages and facials, hot stone massages, manicures, pedicures, as well as treatment for eyes, necks, and lips that make you feel and look younger. It also has spa services aimed at men, like therapeutic massage and organic men's facials. Blue Haven has many activities available, including golf at Provo Golf Club, where guests can get preferred rates. There are tennis courts and lessons at the Alexandria Resort. Guests can tour the conch farm or go horseback riding on Long Bay Beach in an excursion that matches guest skills. Another excursion is a day trip for an island buggy adventure to Grand Turk, where you can tour historic plantations and look at wild horses. Chukka Tours offers the excursion since it isn't included in your package. One of the flaws of Blue Haven is the lack of nightly entertainment. It is more readily available at its sister resorts, but the shuttle schedule changes at night. Providencialis has a nightlife with casinos and live music and can be found in the clubs at Grace Bay. The caveat is that those attractions are a 20-minute drive from Blue Haven Resort. You can rent a car for your stay if you're planning on going into town for shopping or nightlife, because although there is a taxi service, it can be expensive and also unreliable. The resort does have free parking. However, we can't stress this enough. Before you decide to rent, we recommend you do your research before doing so and driving in areas that you're not aware of. Prices for Blue Haven Resort start at around $1,000 per night. Coming in at number two is Ambergris K, and it gets that ranking purely for the exquisite service luxury and sophistication of the resort and its staff. Ambergris K is a private island on the southeast corner of the string of islands that make up Turks and Caicos. Two aircraft from the Turks and Caicos collection shuttle guests from the airport to Ambergris K. You can charter a boat as well, but it's a long journey and is honestly quite costly. The Turks and Caicos collection oversees the Blue Haven and Alexandria resorts, sister resorts to Ambergris. It refurbished the resort and started opening the island to guests in 2018. Transportation from the shuttle aircraft to the resort lobby is included. Ambergris K is one of the most exclusive experiences you will ever find in an all-inclusive package. 
Not only does it include dining and unlimited alcoholic drinks of both the domestic and premium varieties, but this resort also includes a butler service, a stocked refrigerator in each room or villa, 24-hour room services, and water sports like snorkeling, sailing, and kayaking. It also offers boat excursions, pickleball, tennis, and a one-hour spa treatment per person. There is free Wi-Fi, bicycles and golf carts available in the package, and additional cost excursions from nature walks to a catered lunch on a deserted island. The island has 17 bungalows and 8 villas, making it a luxury boutique hotel. There are 10 bungalows with heated infinity plunge pools that overlook the ocean. The beachfront villas range from 3 to 6 bedrooms. The seclusion and exclusivity make this resort renowned for honeymoons and anniversary celebrations. Families are on the island, but most stay in the villas, and the resort has so much space between the bungalows and villas that you won't feel crowded by families. Guests are treated like royalty from the moment they arrive. Anyone renting a villa is assigned a butler to help schedule activities and manage housekeeping. The service has a Caribbean casual style, but that doesn't mean they are casual in how they manage your stay. The resort uses WhatsApp to communicate with you as your designated concierge attends to your every need. The bungalows are in the same style as the villas, so luxury isn't lacking. They come with one or two bedrooms, and each is done in a beach design with wood plank floors, shiplap walls, and woven carpets. The primary color is white, accented with soft pastels with a large picture window and doors that open to the beach. They come with a king bed, an outdoor shower, and a heated pool. The villas have amenities not found at other resorts, like outdoor showers with a private stairway to the sand and large decks that include lounge beds. There's also a small kitchen for those who hire a private chef, catered meals, or simply enjoy cooking your own meals. Those in the villas also get fully stocked fridges with alcohol and soft drinks replenished daily and extras like fruit plates and pastries. Every room or villa has blackout curtains, air conditioning, a coffee maker, and cable satellite TV. Bathrooms amplify the sophistication with a zen feel and a spa look. Darker wood framed against white walls, long counters, and huge mirrors give you a relaxed feeling as well as a lot of space. A huge shower comes with lush towels and bathrobes. There's also a bidet. The Island Resort has two food options and two bars to choose from, but you never feel limited because the food includes both fine dining as well as casual food. Vegan and vegetarian options are also available. The restaurant Calico is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It serves international cuisine as well as specializes in Caribbean food. It offers a la carte fine dining also with seasonal specials and theme nights. Some of the foods include grilled lobster and seafood paella, depending on the season. The clubhouse has more casual fare with paninis, salads, and burgers. It also has a beach club with umbrellas and beach chairs, kayaks, and stand-up paddle boards. It also has an activity center that includes ping pong and pool tables, board games, and video games. Both restaurants are within walking distance, although a golf cart will get you to the clubhouse if you prefer not to walk the route. Both restaurants also have bars. The Calico Bar has a remarkable view to watch the sunset, while the Clubhouse Bar serves daytime and tropical drinks. Snacks are also available 24 hours a day at the snack station. Amenities include bikes and golf carts, kayaks and Hobie cats. Excursions include deep sea fishing, whale watching and private boat tours to Little Ambergris Cay for an additional cost. The resort has one outdoor salt water heated pool and it's open from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. It also has a fitness center that is definitely above average. It also has a yoga pavilion to take in the beauty while doing poses. Additional fees can get you Calico Water Dock private dining or a chef's table private dining experience. Elevate Spa offers luxury massages, organic facials, manicures and pedicures, among other services. This type of experience isn't accentuated with a loud nightlife. The types of entertainment offered at this resort are bonfires, 
dinners on the beach, and cocktails at the hangover bar on Little Ambergris K. A benefit of the all-inclusive package at Ambergris K is that you also get free services, food and drinks at its two sister resorts, and a free shuttle to the other properties is included. Be warned, Ambergris K is not for those looking for a budget-friendly resort. Those of you looking for such a resort will find that with our number one choice, as Ambergris K starts at around $2,000 a night and is definitely for those looking for a once-in-a-lifetime resort experience. And coming in at number one on our list is Club Med Turquoise. Two of the primary reasons why so many guests ranked Club Med as a great resort is because it is one of the few truly adults-only all-inclusive resorts in Turks and Caicos and is also well-priced for the budget-minded traveler, coming in at around $340 a night. Club Med is located on Grace Bay Road in Grace Bay and is around 18 minutes away from the Providencialis Airport. The resort was voted a best of the best designation in 2022 by TripAdvisor and is Green Globe certified. Guests to Club Med Turquoise Resort are greeted to an open air lobby fashioned with Caribbean flair that includes a bar and the nearby main pool that is the perfect place to enjoy a sunset. Renovated in 2018, Turquoise was the island's first resort and has 290 rooms. The rooms, however, are smaller than those at other resorts, but the resort was built in 1984 before large spaces were a trend. And besides, if you're the type that doesn't do anything aside from sleep, shower, and change clothes in your room, then this is a non-issue for you anyway. The rooms come in club and deluxe, with one large bed or two smaller ones. They are colorful, utilizing Caribbean-themed colors like turquoise and yellow and contemporary. Club rooms are the basic rooms with either a king-size bed or two twins, some furniture and tile floors. They come with coffee makers, toiletries, ironing areas, and hair dryers. We can't tell you why coffee makers are in the bathroom, though. Deluxe rooms have more exquisite bedding, sleek furniture, and additional amenities. Those include priority housekeeping, bathrobes, slippers, a mini bar, a welcome gift, and more toiletries than in the club rooms. One thing not included in the standard room rates, however, is Wi-Fi. You have to pay an additional fee for that. Bathrooms are small with one sink, limited counter space, a toilet and a shower, but they are adequate. Club Med has one restaurant and three bars. The restaurant is called Grace Bay and includes an international cuisine buffet. It was part of the renovation and offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner that includes local food as well as international delectables. Sharky's Grill and Beach Bar offers grilled and typical beach fare in open-air dining. The two other bars also offer places to gather, and the resort built a wine cellar that features a variety of high-end liquor, wines, and champagne. However, that isn't included in the package, so be prepared to pay extra for the experience. What Club Med lacks in room size and dining, it makes up for in amenities. The beach has consistently been rated the number one in the world. That makes it the perfect place for boating, fishing, snorkeling, and windsurfing. Any number of excursions are available, including scuba diving, sailing lessons, golf days, and sunset cruises. The pool overlooks the beach and is a calming experience. It's a large pool with a good atmosphere. Those who want some physical activity can enjoy tennis, soccer, or the fitness center. Time at the beach and a workout can be a good reason to head to the spa. Club Med is well known for this type of vacation luxury. The spa has many types of massages to choose from, whether you want to relax or relieve tired muscles. It's easy to book at the reception desk, so it can be a last minute add-on. Club Med also has solid entertainment with nightly bands and acts. It also has something other resorts don't, a circus performance. The circus performs at the resort weekly and is included in the packages. Those who want to try something different can take trapeze lessons, all included. If you decide to visit after Christmas, be forewarned that this type of year is the peak season, so the cost is going to be considerably more than during other times of the year. The resort does have a best rate guarantee, low deposits, flexible payments, and flexible cancellations, where you can modify or cancel up to 61 days before arrival. 
There's also Serenity Insurance, which covers your stay if there's an unexpected event before departure. Well, folks, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next one.